I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts, trying to get out of her house. So I go on the porch. I go on the porch, and she says, "Help me get out." I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long, long time. So you know, I figured it's a, a domestic violence dispute. So I open the door, and we can't get in that way because how the door is, it's so much that the body can't fit through, only your hand. So we kick, kick the bottom, and she comes out with the little girl, and she says, call 911. My name was Amanda Berry. Now, did you know who that was when, you, when she said that? When she told me, it didn't register until I got to call the 911. And then I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry? I thought this girl was dead. You know what I mean? And, and she got on the phone, and she said, yes, this is me. And the detective, uh, Cook. Cook, right here. Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said, I said. Now, and when did you see, when did you see Gina? About, about, about five. We're good. So, about five minutes after the police got here. See, the girl Amanda told the police, I ain't just the only ones. It's some more girls up in that house. So they went up there you know 30 40 deep and when they came out was just astonishing because i thought they were gonna come up with nothing i figured i mean whoever she was and like i say my neighbor uh, you, you got you got the, some big testicles to pull this off bro because we see this dude every day i mean every day how long Seven, you lived here i've been here a year okay you should come up from right. i barbecue with, with this dude we eat ribs and, and whatnot and listen to salsa music you should come up from yeah. and you had no indication that there was not anything egg, going on. bro not a clue that that girl w was in that house, or anybody else was in there against their will, because how he is is I just, he just comes out to his backyard, plays with the dogs, tinker with his cars and motorcycles, goes back in the house. So he's somebody that you look and you look away because he's not doing nothing but the, the average stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nothing exciting about him. Well, until the day. <laughs> what, was, what was the reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight, to be around Bro, people. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And either she's homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she ran into a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. Charles Ram